Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi r-rahman r-rahim Rabbish rahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlu luqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. We will continue from where we left yesterday. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Ayyun shart wa jawab shart fi mayati. Wa idha kana al jawabu muqtarinan bil fai. فَذْكُرْ سَبَبَ ذَلِكَ Are you with me? If the jawabu shart is connected with fa, then mention the reason for that. Okay? Keep your highlighters and your pencils all ready. These are the verses from the Quran, brothers and sisters. قَالَ تَعَالَى What is تَعَالَى? Form 6. What is it? Form 6. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu Iza kumtum So Iza has come. So what is kumtum? So this is your fialu shart. Now again I mention, brothers and sisters, that Dr. Abdurrahim says the conditional sentence has two parts. One is shart and one is jawabu shart. And I, you know, for the sake of simplicity, I said three parts. Adratu shart, fi'alu shart, and jawabu shart. Now when you make it two parts, the first part is shart, it contains adratu shart and fi'alu shart. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It contains adratu shart and fi'alu shart. So, إِذَا كُمْتُمْ إِلَى السَّلَاةِ Now this is your shart. Are you with me? Do you find adatu shart? Yes. And the fialu shart? Yes. So keep that in mind. Okay? So when إِذَا comes, the translation is in future. كُمْتُمْ is past. But you will translate in present and future tense. How will you translate? If you stand for salah or if you establish salah, if you are about to establish salah, fagisilu. What is this fagisilu? Now this is your jawabu shart. And why did fa come? Talab. Amar. Amar. Brother, sister Menas, sister Memuna. Amar. Lamo Amar, Lanahiya, and Istifham. These four things 
denote talab. These four things denote talab. I repeat again. Amar, la mo amar, la nahiya, and istifham. These four things denote talab. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So that is why we have to bring in fa. Fa gasilu. Wash. Wujuha kum. Wujuha is your mafulun bihi. Fa gasilu. Where is the file? Wow. Inshallah. We watch all these things, brothers and sisters. Wujuha is your mafulun bihi. Mudaf. Mudaf ilahi. Wa. Harfu atfin. So what is idea? Mautufun ala wujuha. Why it is idea? What is the actual noun? Huh? Do you remember? You got to also remember this. Huh? Huh? Yadun. What is the plural? Mankus. What is it? Mankus. Aydin. If it is marfu, it will be aydin. If it is majroor, it will be aydin. But if it is mansu, then the fatah will come. Huh? So that is why it became aydiya. Are you with me? And then the kum came. Huh? Inshallah, you will remember. Whenever the nouns are mankus, inshallah, you will be able to identify them, figure them out, inshallah. Ilal marafiki, till your elbows. Huh? Okay? Wam sahu and, brother, wipe. Wam sahu means wipe. Huh? With water. Huh? Be ru'usikum. What is ru'usi? Head. What is singular? Rasun. Huh? Rasun. Wa arjula. What is arjula? Feet. What is singular? Rijulun. Huh? Rijulun. Huh? Will you please remember? Shall I write it down? Or you, you have an idea? Huh? Okay, I'll write down that. Rasun. Ru'usun. Huh? Rijulun. Arjulun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ilal kaabaini. Ankle. Now, our jawabu shart will only be fagsilu. The rest of them are mautufun. Huh? Are you with me? The rest of them are mautufun. Number two, brothers and sisters, Kaala Ta'ala, Ida Maritu, Fahuwa Yashfini. Brothers and sisters. It's only Allah who cures us, parents. Okay? Of course, doctor helps us, but it's Allah who actually cures us. So, is a maritu. How will you translate this, brothers and sisters? When I get sick. <laughs> so, we have to translate present and future. When I get sick, or if I get sick, for who were? Fuck him. Why? No, brother. Jumlatun ismiyatun. Jawabu shart, jumlatun ismiyatun. In the previous one, jawabu shart, jumlatun talabiyatun. Uh, or you can say, uh, you can say in the first one, jawabu shart, uh, fialun talabiyan. Fialun talabiyan. Uh, and in this you will say, jumlatun ismiyatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In the first sentence, we will say, Fagsilu, Jawabu Shart, Fealun, Talabiyun. And in the second, 
فہو یشفینی وی ول سے جواب و شرط جملہ تن اسمیتن ان شاء اللہ نو ڈاکٹر صاحب ہیز آلریڈی ایکسپلین یشفینی وٹ از دس نون دیر نونو اکایا اٹ از ایکچولی شفا یشفی آر یو وتھ می شفا یشفی شفا یش فی اوکے اینڈ دین نونو وکایا اینڈ دین یا متکلم اوکے ہی کیورس می ہی ریسٹورس مائی ہیلتھ بٹ دس از ڈراپڈ سو واٹ آر یو لیفٹ وتھ یو آر اونلی لیفٹ وتھ دس Okay, so this also we have to remember. Huh? I jokingly say, Ya Mutakalam Aiti, Apni Nishani Chorke, Chali Gay. She came, she left her sign, and she went away. Huh? So Kasara is her sign. Huh? Okay, got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Another nice uh, 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 verse, brothers and sisters, Kala Ta'ala. یا ایوہ الذین آمنو اذا نو دیا what is نو دیا مجہول what is the نادا نادا یناہ دی so نادا بکیم brothers and sisters نادا بکیم see نا if I say نو sister Gulshan If I say nu, that alif change into wow. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Nu, and then di, as soon as I put a kasra, ya became visible. Huh? Nu diya. Huh? Is a nu diya. Lis salati. Is a nu diya. Lis salati. Min yomil jumati. فس آؤ اگین فا کیم جواب شر جواب شر واٹ از دا ریزن طلب جواب شر فیلون طلبی فیلون طلبی اوکے بر اینڈ سسٹر اوکے واٹ کین آف ورب از دس سا یس آ واٹ از اٹ سا یس آ ٹو ٹو Go quickly, to walk quickly. Sa'a. Yes. Ah. How did you make Amar from there? Okay, brother and sister. Conjugate this. Are you ready? Yes, ah. Yes, ayani. Yes, awna. Mashallah, mashallah. Excellent, eh? So if it is tas awna, how do I make amar? Huh? I chop this, and I chop this, and I bring hamzatul vasal, hamzaf amar. Huh? So it has to be is. Huh? But if I put wow, then it will become was aw. Huh? Are you with me? Was out. Huh? And if you put fa, fas out. Huh? Fas out. So it is talab. Where is the file? Wow. Antum. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us, all of us, that you should hurry up. Huh? To where? Hurry up to where? Ila zikrillah. Huh? Ila zikrillah. Okay? Huh? Then there is a wall. I want you to separate this wall. Otherwise you will get confused. Either you circle it. And if you have two colors of highlighter, use one color for wall and the other color for the room. Now, this is something, again, we want to study properly. And today I'm going to write a lot of things on the board, brothers and sisters. Huh?
There are two verbs that I'm writing. They are not used in Mahdi. Huh? The verbs are there. The verbs are there. But they are not used in Mahdi. They are used in Amr most of the time and also in Mudhariya. Huh? The first verb is Vazira. Huh? Huh? What is this verb? Vazira. Mishal al Wavi. Huh? And the second verb is Vada. Are you with me? What is the meaning of these two words? Taraka. To leave. Huh? Meaning is Taraka. So, Vazira, give me Mudariya, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Because Bab Daraba, it will change into Vada is Yada U. How do you make? How do you make? Amar. Huh? We only chop this. Huh? And you give Sukun here. So what will be the Amar for Vazira? Zar. Uh, and this will be Da. Uh, da. Utruk. What is the meaning of Da? Utruk. Leave. Okay. Now you see Tazaru. Tazaruna. What will be? Tazaruna. Make Amar. Huh? Chop here and chop here. This is your Amar. Huh? Leave. Utruku. Huh? Utruku. Okay. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Vazaru. What should you leave? Al bai. Huh? Buying and selling. Business. Huh? Bai. Huh? Are you with me? What is bai un? Master. From where, Sister Hafsa? Ba'a yabi'u. Ba'a yabi'u bai'un. Buying, selling. Okay? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, you know how many beautiful verbs we are, you know, uh, understanding, alhamdulillah. Huh? Huh? See, the, these are not easy verbs. Huh? If you say, first out. Sa'a is, is, you know, when you study book two, at the end of it you come across these things. Uh, so it requires a lot of effort on the part of a student uh, to understand the verbs. And it is the beauty of uh, the books of Dr. Abdurrahim. The way he has designed this course, we understand it. And inshallah, we can... Uh, when see in the Quran, we can uh, understand and feel it, inshallah. Hmm? Alhamdulillah. So, fas aw wa zaru. Okay? These are both amar. But we are only concerned with fas aw, because that is our jawabu shart. Huh? Okay. Number four, brothers and sisters. Is a dakhala ahdukumu al masjida. What is the meaning of it? When one of you enters the masjid, fal huh? yarka. Again, fa came. What is it? Lamu amar. So this is talab. Huh? Okay. Rakataini. Kabla an yajlis. Alhamdulillah. Kala ta'ala. Fa'idha ja. Now, this fa in the beginning is harfu atf. Huh? Do not get confused. This is harfu atfin. Fa'idha huh? ja ajluhum. Ajlu means the final time, the mouth. Huh? When the mouth comes, their death comes. La yastakhiruna. What kind of a verb is this? Form tem. 
is tahara, to delay. Huh? And the same way we have is takdama, huh? to, to bring it forward. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, where is our job ushart? La yastakhiruna. No, far didn't come. There is no need for far. Why? Ji? This is La Nafia. It's not La Nahia, it is La Nafia. Huh? And none of these apply there. Are you? Yasta Hiruna. See? Huruna. What is it? Marfu. It's not Majizuma or anything. So there is no need for Fa. It is Javabushar, Sister Sukhaina, but it does not need Fa. Uh, so you will have to figure out, brother and sister, there will be, there'll be many uh, jawabushat which will not need fa. And there will be many which will need fa. Uh, so this does not need fa. So when you say jawabushat, would you just say la yastakiruna ta'ata and then back to jawabushat? Yes. Ma'atufun ala. Exactly, you are right. You are right. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. You see, now you are you are getting very sharp. Huh? And you are now understanding very well. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, number six is hadith. Ida sharibal kalbu fi enai ahidikum from the container or a pot of one of you if a, the dog drinks from your container or pot Huh? What you should do? Fal yagsil. Then you should wash. Seven times. Okay? Now here, where is the jawabu shart? Fal yagsil. Uh, what is it? Lama mahal. So it is talam. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Iza samiyatum bitta'uni. What is ta'un? Play. Huh? Plague. Huh? If you hear play, fi ardin. See, fi ardin. What is the meaning of ardin? In a country, in a place. Huh? This does not mean the whole earth. This means a country, huh? a place. Huh? Any country. Fi ardin means any country. Huh? Fala tadhuluha, and then do not enter it. So la came. What kind of a la is this? La nahiya. So if it is la nahiya, now then it is a talab. So now if it is a talab, then we need fa. Fala tadhuluha. Wa ida waka bi and if it and if it happens or if it occurs in the country. Wa antum biha and you are in it, huh? Fala takhruju minha. Then do not go out of it. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you got the idea? Twice, Ida came, twice, Shart came, and you, you have two Jawabu Shart, huh? Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, number eight is very meaningful. Extremely meaningful. I will say something. If you don't like my statement, then please forgive me. But I feel like saying it, you know. Iza naasa ahdukum. What is the meaning of naasa ahdukum? What is the meaning of naasa? To feel drowsy. Huh? Yawn. You drowsy. Okay? Feel sleepy. If you feel sleepy at the, during the time of Salah or when the Salah time has come and if you feel sleepy, go to sleep. Don't pray. Huh? But there's a wisdom in it. Huh? Sleep. Huh? What is it? If you feel sleepy, Sleepy in the salah, 
Huh? You better sleep. Huh? Fal yanam. Why? Lamu amar. Huh? So talab. Fal yanam. Hatta until till ya lama huh? ma yakarahu. Huh? Until you are in a position that when you uh, uh, you, you know what you are saying in your salah. It means you are awake and you are alert. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? If you are sleepy in the salah, you sleep. And then we are fresh. Huh? Until you are fresh and you know what you are saying in the salah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So, hatta, brothers and sisters, hatta ya'lama. What is ya'lama? Mansu, why? Because an, an. What is madmur? What is uh, hidden? Hatta. This is this is hidden. Huh? What is hidden? An is hidden. An is what made the. Fail Mudarya, Mansu. Got the idea? Okay. So, An is hidden. Okay. Hatta An. Now, this is what made, this is what made the Fail Mudarya, Mansu. Huh? Okay. Inshallah. Now, the point is this, brothers and sisters, that this is the Hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That when you feel sleepy in the salah, don't pray. Because you don't know what you are saying in the salah. But our tragedy is that even when we are awake, we don't know what we are praying. Huh? Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, if you feel sleepy, you should not pray because you don't know what you are saying. Till you are fresh and you know what you are saying. But our trage- tragedy is that even when we are awake, we don't understand what we are saying. So what shall we do now? How much benefit are we going to drive from the Salah? This is something to ponder over. Huh? That we must understand our Salah, what we are saying, what is happening in the Salah. Huh? Otherwise, the benefit is very minimal. Brother and sister. Now this Hadith is an awakening call for all of us. That we must learn. Huh? And how will you know what you are saying in the Salah? Because Salah is in Arabic. How will you know? You have to learn Arabic. You have to learn Arabic. In order to know what we are saying in the Salah, huh, brother and sister. And if you learn only translation, uh, it's okay. But better if we learn the language. Then you can communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Remember, in Salah, we are getting very intimate with Allah. Are you with me then? Trust me, brother. If there's an intimate relation between Abd and the Khalik. Huh? And it happens in the Salah. Because you are communicating with the Creator, your Lord, your Rabb. Huh? And if you don't know, brothers and sisters, if I stand in front of you and I say something that I really don't know what I'm saying to you, you know, what will you, what will you feel about me? Huh? What kind of opinion you will have about me? That this person doesn't know what he is saying. Huh? Huh? What an ignorant person he is. So we got to, brothers and sisters, inshallah, learn Quran, learn the language of the Quran, and then that knowledge will create khushu and khuzu in our salah. Huh? And then when you will pray, you will have a different feeling, brothers and sisters. 
the happiness and joy only you will feel and understand and satisfaction and the sakina that you will derive out of your prayers uh, inshallah it will become part of you inshallah next one brother and sister well, this is also very important when the ikama is uh, said you know people will still pray their sunnah uh, they don't quit that's not right Ida ukimat salatu. Ukimat. What is ukimat? Form four majo. Akama uki mum. And the knife file is salatu. So we have tau tanisi. Got the idea? What is the word, brother and sister? Akama became. Uki is a uki mat. Huh? So, akama became ukima, majul. Is a uki mat is salat. Huh? When the salat, again it is ira, when the ikama is called and the salat is about to begin, hmm? fala salata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fala salat. Okay, fa has come. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. Huh? What is la salat? La nafiyatu lil jins. There is absolutely, absolutely no kind of salah. Huh? This is la nafiyatu lil jins. Absolutely no kind of a salah is permissible except. Allah al maktubatu what is prescribed and what is prescribed fard huh? what is the prescribed salah fard so when the ikrama is called then we must stop everything because at that time the only thing that is uh, fard on us is our fard salah huh? are you with me brothers and sisters very important you can write down one word underneath maktubatu mafrudatu huh? al mafrudatu what is the meaning of al mafrudatu huh? enjoined what is it enjoined obligatory huh? fard you know imposed huh? decreed that is the meaning of mafru datun. It comes from fard. Kala Shair, a poet said, Iza lam tastati. What kind of a verb is this? Form 10. Istata yastati u lam tastati. Shayan, if you cannot do something, uh, so far came Amar Talab. Are you with me? Amar. Uh, what is the meaning of Javis? Uh, Write down, brothers and sisters. Javaza. This is form three. And then we have Tajavaza. This is form six. The meaning is same. To do something very well. To do something extremely well. To do uh, something extremely well. Are you with me, brother? So, Javaza, you Javizu, what will be the Amar? Javiz. Huh? Javiz, who means you do it. 
إِلَى مَا تَسْتَتِيُ What you can do. So do something what you can do extremely well. Leave the other thing and do what you can do extremely well. Huh? Is it clear, brothers and sisters? فَجَابِذْ هُ إِلَى مَا Here, ma is al-lazi, huh, brother? Wajavizhu ila ma tastatiyo. What you can do very well. Hmm? What can you can you can do extremely well. Leave the other. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Yes, sister Bamuna. Uh, what is the meaning of Lam Tastati? He could not do. Huh? Huh? But b- because of Iza, how will you translate it? If you cannot do. Are you with me? If he cannot do, you will change Lam Tastati into present tense. Why? Because of Iza. When the Iza comes, brothers and sisters, mostly Fial Madi will come. Are you with me? And then Fial Madi will, uh, will be uh, translated as a future. Huh? So tell me one thing, brothers and sisters. Tastati, is it Madi Mudarya? Mudarya. But Lam came. So what did Lam do? It made it into Madi. What is Lam? Harfu uh, jasmin, wa nafiyin, wa qalbin. It trans- transfers mudarya into madi. Okay, so this lam tastati is madi. But again, idha came, and it, we translate it now in future. Are you with me? How will you translate? If you cannot, uh, now leave idha. And just say, Lam Tastati. How will you translate Lam Tastati? You did not. Uh, you did not. Now bring Iza. Uh, you cannot. Uh, are you with me? Are you with me? It will change into future. Uh, inshallah. You got to understand. Huh? Sister uh, Bamula, uh, with Iza, most of the time translation is in present or future. Huh? Okay. Now, we got to learn a lot about these verbs. When it is Iza, we should not worry. Because the translation will be in the present and future. Huh? We will be more concerned when we have other instruments of shart. Which, inshallah, we are going to learn today. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Call a shauki yun. Brothers and sisters, who is shauki? A very famous Egyptian poet. A very, very famous. Yes, Sister Naima, you are saying something? Yes, yes. Okay. If you cannot do anything, Shayan means something. If you cannot do something uh, nicely, it, it is understood that you cannot do something well, what you, then leave it. Wajav is who and do it what you can do very well. Huh? And do it very well what you can. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So there are many things we are good at. Huh? If you are good at cooking biryani, then cook biryani only. <laughs> don't. don't. <laughs> Don't, don't uh, cook baklava because you are not good at it. Huh? You'll make a mess of it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? <laughs> okay. Now, this uh, poet, Shauki, uh, he is uh, saying in the praise of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Fi madhi, madhi means praise. Huh? What is he saying? Is a rahimta. If you show mercy, fa'anta ummun wa abun. You are the mother and father of the ummah. 
Our brother and sister, he's, he's praising Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you, we look to you as our mother and father. Uh, we respect you. Uh, so, is a rahimta. So again, rahimta is madi, but translation will be present tense. If you show mercy, uh, you are our mother and father. Fa anta, what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. The far came. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, now there's a beautiful exercises, but you got to do it. Will you make an attempt at home? You can even write down verses from the Quran if you wish. Huh? Or from the Hadith if you wish. Adhil Eda fi jumla taini. Ala an yakuna jawabuha khali an minfa. You got to make two sentences with Iza in which you need not use Fa. It means these conditions should not come. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. So you got to figure out, you know. Iza ja Ramadanu Futihat Abuabul Janna. So there is one sentence. Uh, like that, you can figure out your own sentence, uh, simple sentence. Uh. And now, next one is Adhil Ida fi arbai jumlil alan yakuna jawabu. Four sentences you got to make in which there is a jawab, jumla ismiya, then there is a jawab, amar, then lamu amar, and then La nahiya. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Will you give it a try? G? No. 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 See, uh, I was just talking to uh, Sister Sukhaina about this. Iza zulzilatil ardu zilzalaha. وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا Now the jawab comes. تُحَدِّسُ أَخْبَارَهَا تُحَدِّسُ أَخْبَارَهَا This is your jawab. And there is no need for fahia. Are you with me? But then I again gave her another example. إِذَا جَاءَ نَسُرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجَ فَسَبِّحْ سَبِّحْ أَمَرْ Form 2 سَبَّحَ يُسَبِّحُ سَبِّحْ Now the far comes and it is there فَسَبِّحْ Okay But you got to make your own sentence simple sentence إِذَا أَرَدْتَ إِذَا أَرَدْتَ أَنْ تَذَهَبَ إِلَى السُّوكِ Are you with me? فَسَيَارَتِي فِي خِدْمَتِكُمْ What did I say? My car is at your service. فَسَيَارَتِي So what is سَيَارَتِي? مُبْتِدَى So it is a jumla. Ismiya. You make your own sentence. And make Amar also, you know. Okay? Uh, simple sentence. Huh? Okay. For instance, yeah, you can, you can, inshallah, you can figure out. Iza jaa atullabu mutakhirina. What did I say? Mutakhirina. No, that is your hal. In what condition they come? Late. فَلَا تَسْمَ لَهُ Do not allow them. Eh? Are you with me? So, فَلَا تَسْمَ لَهُمْ So here it is, لَا نَحِيَ Are you with me? Inshallah, you will try to figure out. Do you want me to give you? You want to write it down? Or you will, Inshallah, make an effort? Uh, brothers and sisters, make an effort. Uh, inshallah. And you know, you can always exchange your sentences with each other 
even on phone. And finally, you can take help from the Hello Tamari, inshallah. Huh?